And yeah, you're sitting there going, why don't you just take some stuff out? Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laliko and welcome to my last, my last, my last apartment vlog in China. <laughs> so I've been living here for the best part of a year now. If this is the first time that you're joining me, then welcome. I post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences. So I've been living and working abroad and I wish that I was a minimalist. This is the chaos before I fly. And you can see over here, more chaos. If you have not seen my apartment tour, I'll put the link in the description box below. And then obviously tomorrow morning when I have a shower, I will put those away. I weighed this before I put these clothes in and it was 30.8 kgs. <laughs> crumbs! Crumbs! It's my last sunset in mainland China. Well if it wasn't for the smog it would be beautiful. It's down quite fast here. I want to keep learning, you know, we keep getting older, we have experiences. When I came I had like 30, I usually do push the limit. So 32 is the maximum. So I'm a bit worried because I still have these clothes that I need to put in. I still have my toiletries after I shower tomorrow. So I'm panicked no end to be quite honest. And so my backup plan is, <laughs> and I hope I don't have to execute this. My backup plan is if I get to the airport and the scale says 32 point something, then I will take out my backpack from my suitcase because my backpack is currently in there and I will just put a packing cube in there and send it off as independent luggage. I do have a lock for my backpack. It's just a day pack. It's nothing exciting. I have taken it to work. I've taken on plenty of trips. I already have my wheelie suitcases carry on, which you may have seen. I've got a new one, so I'm very excited. This is finally the first proper time to really put it to the test. And yes, that might be heavier than seven kgs right now, and I don't even have my laptop in it. Oops. Again, I wish I was a minimalist. Honestly, but this really is one of the problems when you do live and work abroad because it's not just, oh, I'm going to pack my life away in a backpack for a year because you need those work clothes. So you do have a mix of both and clothes are heavy. <laughs> now, if I was smaller and lighter, then it would be, it would be easier. Plus, I have multiple seasons. I have winter clothes, I have summer clothes, and that obviously includes footwear as well. Footwear that's work appropriate, footwear that is weekend. Like today I've been wearing my jandals. Uh, if you haven't seen my packing video of what I bought to China, also I've done a packing video from the last time when I left China. Um, it's more of a how-to video rather than this is a desperate cry for myself <laughs> to go, I wish I was a minimalist. I wish I had less stuff so that I wasn't here the night before I'm flying out having a minor freak out about closing my suitcase tomorrow. I did stupidly also go out today <laughs> and buy some more items. <laughs> so that doesn't help. That really was possibly the dumbest thing. I, w I was going out for lunch. I wanted to have like a final, like lunch. Um, you know, that was nice. I'm glad it popped up to the mall. That was all well and good. But then I popped into one of those like little stores that has Korean brand skincare. And I love Korean skincare, I really do. So in New Zealand, we can get, we can get some things, but it costs more, plus the postage as well. I was just, uh, getting some more serum and then I found an eye serum which I've never tried oh my word anyway so fortunately because I'm flying with Cathay, Cathay Dragon and then through Qantas and I have silver status then I can do that second bag if I need to at this very moment I kind of wish I'd kept my my previous carry-on luggage because then I could have just checked that and today I did actually look, but the problem is it's a, I went to a mall, not like a market. 
I really have no problem because I and I think because I've done it before buying last minute luggage knowing that it needs to do one trip <laughs> and that's all I need it to do and yeah you're sitting there going why don't you just take some stuff out I've got one pair of pants that I have acquired since I got here that's all so I'm doing for me I'm doing pretty well you know what the weight is toiletries are my downfall and I have been watching videos today on YouTube going how do I downsize my toiletries how do I downsize my toiletries because yeah all those little bottles and like I've been I bought some little small bottles I've been decanting into that I think the other thing is because I'm going home and some things do cost more in New Zealand and because I will be home for a little while I'm not exactly sure how long at this very moment it seems so silly but I actually buy here in China the proper size Colgate toothpaste because a it's gonna last me and b because it's my math is not strong <laughs> It's like a quarter of the price. <laughs> I remember sitting in Anne's lounge because I made a video, what to take with you to China. <laughs> what have I got that's different that is taking up so much room? I do have some paperwork and paper's a little bit heavy too because of my illness. I want to take home some of the like test results that I've had because I just don't know. And of course, with some of those things, yeah, you can just like, uh, screenshot it, have a PDF on your phone, that you can totally do. I also, because I haven't heard back from the insurance, and I don't really know how it works to be quite honest, <laughs> I kind of still want to just hold on to my original receipts. Heaven forbid they need something. This is the difference with living and working abroad is that you do have to make choices. <laughs> And I'm clearly very bad at making those choices. <sighs> so what can you learn from me? Know how much your suitcase weighs when you leave home. I have worn everything, which is great. It also shows that I am packing well. It'll be different now that I'll be on holiday, so I won't be wearing work clothes, but I will wear work clothes again, so it's pointless throwing them out. There are certain items that I do need to buy at home. If I could walk out that door tomorrow with my suitcase wheeled and closed, and it was 31.5, I would feel so happy. I just don't know how I'm gonna get to that. We'll see you in the next video, which should be at the airport tomorrow.